Hey, this is John with Off Grid and at Mobile Solar. Today, I was inspired to do a video. Somebody on some of the Facebook solar groups were asking about how could you keep the their their batteries warm, their lithium batteries warm. Because as you know, you can't discharge lithium batteries, or maybe you don't know, you can't discharge lithium batteries below freezing temperatures. So a good way to keep these batteries warm is to use one of these. This is a an RV tank heater, and. It's a, it's a great way to keep a battery warm. I've used them in my battery builds. I've also used them for actually keeping my tanks from freezing up. But they're a really good way to keep a, a battery warm. I've used them in my own battery builds. They have built-in thermostats and they'll kick on whenever the battery gets too cold and they'll kick off usually around 68 degrees. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll leave a link uh, in the description below for this tank heater and some other tank heaters. I have a lot of people that ask me, what's a good way to keep a lithium battery warm during the winter? Uh, and a solution that a lot of people use and that I've used myself is using some of these tank heaters. These are meant for just you know, keeping your black and gray and, and uh, fresh water tanks warm during the winter. This is thermostat control. This is just a small version. They actually do make them bigger. Um, but you can install these when you're doing your batteries. You can just put these around the cells and it'll keep them warm. And like I said, it's, it's uh, thermostat controlled. So uh, they'll kick on when the batteries get too cold and they'll kick off around 36 degrees. Um, see if you can see the information there. But they pull about seven and a half watts. This is a 12 volt tank heater. You can get these in 24 volt, not this brand, but another brand. But they're pretty flexible, as you can see. You're not going to crease these in half, but they will wrap around cells pretty well. Or a lot of times you just put these under the cells and the cells will sit on top of them. Uh, these small ones here would be good for a single 100 amp hour lithium pack. Or you can uh, get bigger ones if you're doing a larger pack, 24 volt pack with eight cells. Um, but these are a good solution. They just simply run with... Uh, positive and negative conductor, just like this. Um, so they work pretty well. Now, the battery that I built, um, as a, 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 if you build a 24 volt, you're gonna need some, either an external power source to be able to plug it into a 12, 12 volt power source or get, like I said, the tank here that's a 24 volt. Um, if you try to run this for a 24 volt battery, you're gonna have to do some kind of a small miniature uh, 24 volt to 12 volt step down which would just make it wouldn't be very efficient so I, I wouldn't do that but anyway that's uh, a good solution this has an adhesive back and it'll stick in place so it won't move around so anyway um there you go so if you like this video like subscribe and share um we're trying to grow the channel and it, it helps us out also check out some of our affiliate links i'll put links for this below um with the switches too, in case you're just wanting to use it for a tank heater. But um, yeah, check it out, leave comments, and let me know what you think. Thanks.